So was it ever really considered a boom town? Because in a lot of Appalachian communities, I mean, they swelled, you know, hundreds of percentage points um, over the course of maybe five or 10 years and really became legitimate boom towns. Um, now, obviously, most of those places have fallen on hard times since. But in northern Minnesota, it, are there any towns like that and Walker in particular? You know, Walker, it definitely had its uh, a boom in the late 19th, early 20th centuries, that's for sure, especially when the train came through. It died down similar to a lot of Appalachia throughout the 20th century. Uh, at one point, the biggest employer in the area was the Aguaching Mental Institution, if I'm not mistaken, which my mother worked at for many years. If you're speaking boom towns in particular, if you go about oh, 90 to 90 minutes to two hours northeast of Walker, there's a little strip called the Iron Range where I live most of my, well, I wouldn't say most of my life, but I spent a lot of my time traveling up there, visiting grandparents, visiting uncles, that type of a thing. And uh, if you want to talk about boom towns there, yeah, it's actually, uh, if if you look up some of the population numbers, it's actually, it almost sort of mimics what went on in Appalachia. So what is the Iron Range? You, you mentioned that a couple times. It's not a, it's not an actual mountain range, correct? So what is, what's the Iron Range and what purpose does it serve for, for, from an economic perspective? Yeah, so the Iron Range is, uh, it's definitely not as flat as the rest of Minnesota. It's, I would I would call it hilly more than anything else. Certainly nothing like there is even in the foothills of West Virginia down here. But it's got a decent bit of elevation, give and take to it. Very heavily wooded. There's a little bit of farming, but not much more than some hobby farms in most areas. And back in the day, Duluth, Minnesota, which is actually, I still have some family up in that area doing business, was the richest city per capita in the whole United States. It was arguably the most developed city in the world off of the back of the Iron Range and the trading. 